Greetings and welcome to part number 8 of the Sekiro All Collectible series. In this video we're going to cover all achievement related collectibles from between the dilapidated temple and the wedding cave door. First off we're going to fit our last prosthetic tool. If you followed my videos up to this point, the all prosthetic tools achievement should unlock for you. Congrats! Now we teleport back to the Guardian Apes watering hole and we pick up the Lotus of the Palace. Next up we have to find our way to the Ashina Depths. First off, start by traveling to the little cave that you started the game in, that you can find in the Ashina Reservoir. Now you follow the way as you see in the gameplay. Now let's get looting. Collectible number one is a prayer bead. Defeat Snake Eyes Shirahagi at the poison pools to claim it. The full boss fight and strategy guide can be found on the channel and I will leave a link to the video in the description below. Collectible number two is another prayer bead. From the previous collectible, continue ahead and drop down. Stop and immediately look to the left. Look up and use the grapple point to get into a narrow passage. Duck under the stone and make a stop midway. Stand up and make your way through the passage. At the end you will reach a statue that you can grapple up to. Collect the prayer bead here. Collectibles number 3, 4, 5 and 6 can be found after beating the headless ape and severing its immortality. Two prayer beads, a memory, plus the last ninjutsu are the reward for beating this tough boss. If you follow my guides up to this point you will also unlock the all ninjutsu achievement here. Congrats! The full boss fight and strategy guide can also be found on the channel, as well as a link to the video in the description below. Collectible number 7 is another prayer beat rewarded for killing Tokujiro the Glutton. The full boss and strategy guide can be found on the channel, as well as the link to the video in the description below. Collectible number 8 is a gourd seed that you find in Mibo village. Follow the path straight ahead along the riverside until you reach a big tree with enemies kneeling in front of it. You will find the seed on the left hand side of the tree. Collectible number 9 is another prayer bead rewarded for killing Orin of the Water. The full boss fight and strategy guide can be found on the channel, as well as a link to the video down in the description. Collectible number 10 is another prayer bead found shortly after. Cross the bridge and duck into the space under the house to your right. Use the shinobi door to go inside. Head out and turn around immediately. Look up and use the grapple point to get into the attic and grab the prayer bead from the chest. Collectible number 11 is another memory claim from the corrupted monk. The full boss fight and strategy guide can be found on the channel as well as a link to the video in the description below. And that's it for the collectibles. If the video was helpful leave a like and subscribe for more collectible guides and I'll see you in the next one.